Hello, my name is Joe Jackson and I'm the Preventive Conservator at the National Museum of Scotland. And I'm joined today by Ashley Whiffen, Curator of Entomology at NMS and John Robinson, Curator of Entomology at the Hunterian. Today, myself, Ashley and John will be discussing the identification of book lice, specifically Doropteryx longipennis, otherwise known as the winged book louse, an often overlooked species. In recent years, the spread of this particular species has been documented from its first UK sighting in Dublin in 2004, then through to its first sighting in Scotland in 2016 at Summerlee Museum of Scottish Industrial Life in Lanarkshire, Aberdeenshire, and then on to National Museum's Collection Centre in Edinburgh in 2019. Safe to say, Doropteryx longipennis is an accomplished traveller, but how do we identify it? We've all carried out trap checks where we've uh, struggled to identify specific species of book lice, but hopefully with the help of a fantastic new identification guide and poster, more accurate identifications can be made when carrying out essential IPM work, whilst also contributing to the ongoing mapping of the spread of Doroptrix, Longipennis, as well as information on feeding habits. I'm going to pass on to Ashley now, who's going to talk a bit more about the identification process. Thanks, Joe. So book lice identification doesn't need to be as difficult um, as, as you might think. We'll try to simplify it for you. So let's kick off with Lipicellus. Um, there are four species known to be synanthropic in the UK, so found commonly in domestic dwellings and unfortunately for us, museums. Um, but the one that is most common and widespread and most frequently encountered on our blunder traps is this one, Lipicellus bostricophilia. So the diagnostic features for this one is that it is dorsoventrally flattened um, on its abdomen and it's got these broad flattened femurs, these hind legs, um, or as you might to like, like to think of them, these chunky, um, chunky thighs. So that's really diagnostic for this species. Moving on to Lepinotus reticulatus. So Lepinotus has three species that are synanthropic in the UK, um, and this one is currently recorded as far north as Edinburgh. It's quite different to Lipicellus, isn't it? It's very dark brown in colour, and it's very, very bristly. This is key features for this one, um, paired with the fact that it has uh, wings, which Lipicellus doesn't, um, and they're lobe-like and also covered in bristles. So hopefully that will help you separate the two. It's also worth noting that Lipicellus has really tiny, small eyes, whereas Lepinotus has these big, bulging eyes. And then we've got Badenilia. And these are females that you can see in this picture here. And the females possess these pearly convex wing cases that cover the abdomen. Unfortunately, the males look quite different and can be confused with Lipicellus. But the thing that you can use to tell them apart is those hind legs. So if you look at the hind legs on this species, they're really slender and really long compared to the chunky thighs on that Lipicellus. And then we've got the dogs. Um, and, and we have got two species and it's often overlooked. So looking at just Domestica, they've got, they've got the prominent slender wings that are hairy and have wing veins, but so does Longipennis. So Jan, can you help us out? How do we differentiate these gangly hairy book lice? I certainly can, thank you, Ash. So when I first came across these in the traps from Lanarkshire um, around 2017, um, I was looking at the British key um, and the only, only, only species that featured in that was, um, was Domestica and its wings are pictured at the top here. And they are characterized, you can see by um, cross veins, a more complicated looking structure. So not only do they have veins that go down the length of the wing, but they also have little veins that cut across it. Um, whereas Longipennis was um, distinctly different in that it didn't have any of these cross veins. So it's quite a subtle but reliable detail that helps you to tell them apart. And Longipennis is the picture at the bottom there. Um, so very useful. And just generally when you see them on the trap, um, they are just so gangly and distinctively different from the, um, the other, other wood lice in the group that I, I think you'll notice you've got something interesting. So we would encourage you to um, get in touch with us if you come across anything interesting on your traps, um, you want confirmation, um, and we'd be particularly interested to hear of um, new sites for it and particularly evidence of breeding or when you're actually finding it in objects um, in your collections rather than just in the blundered traps. Um, so thank you very much for your attention and I hope you find the guide useful. <laughs>